Number 276, 276. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And we shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord has truly risen, hallelujah. Yeah. Come ring out your joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs that says, Hail the Lord. The Lord, the Lord has, has truly, truly risen, risen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. The mighty God is the Lord, the great King above all gods. In his Son are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. The Lord has truly risen, hallelujah. Amen. I let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. The Lord, the Lord has truly risen, risen, hallelujah. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massar in the desert, where your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. The Lord has truly risen, hallelujah. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said, their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. And I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. The Lord, Lord has truly, truly risen, risen, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The, the Lord, Lord has truly risen. Hallelujah. In 276. He has risen. Tell, tell the story to the nations, to the nations of the, the night. From, from the their sin and from their blindness. blindness let them walk in Easter light. light. Now begins a new creation. Now, now has come our true salvation. salvation. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Mary, Mary goes to tell, to tell the others of the, of the wonders, wonders she has seen. seen. John, John and Peter come a running. What can all this can truly, truly mean? O Rabone, Miss Master Holy, to appear to one so lowly, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He has he cut down death and evil. Down death and evil. He, has he has conquered all despair. despair. He has, he has lifted, lifted from our our shoulders all the weight, all the weight of anxious care. care. Risen, Risen brother, now before, now before you, you will worship and adore you, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. God. Now, now get, get busy, busy, bring the message, message so, that so that all may come, come to know there is there hope, hope for saints and sinners. Sinner. Our God has loved us so. Loved us so. Every, Every church bell is ringing. Is Every, Every Christian, Christian now, is now is singing, singing Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, the Son of God. God. In you they rejoice, those who love your name, hallelujah. To my words give ear, O Lord, if he to my groaning, attend to the sound of my cry, my King and my God. O oh, Lord, in the morning you hear me, in the morning of my heart, watching and waiting. You are no God who loves evil, no sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. You hate all who do evil, you destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty man the Lord detests. Uh, but I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple, filled with awe. Lead me, Lord, in your justice, because of those who lie in wait. May clear their way before me. No truth can be found in their mouths. Their heart is all mischief. Their throat is wide open grave. All honey their speech. All those you protect shall be glad and ring out their joy. You shelter them, in you they rejoice, those who love your name. It is you who bless the, the just man, Lord. You, summon, you surround him with favor 
as with a shield. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In, in you, you they rejoice, rejoice those who love, love your name. name. Hallelujah. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and, and you, you are exalted as head above all. all. Hallelujah. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power, and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heavens and in the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. An honor come from you, and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might, and in your hand it is to make great and to give strength to all. And now we thank you, our God, and praise your glorious name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Yours, Yours is, is the kingdom, kingdom O Lord, Lord, and you, and you are, are exalted as head above all. Hallelujah. The Lord is enthroned as King, King forever. forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, give the Lord, you sons of God. Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord's voice is sounding on the waters. The Lord on the immensity of waters. The voice of the Lord full of power. The voice of the Lord full of splendor. The Lord's voice shattering the cedars. The Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf, and Zirion like a young wild dog. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire. The Lord's voice shakes in the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Karshish. The Lord's voice rendering the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunders. In his temple they all cry glory. The Lord sat in throne over the flood. The Lord seats us King forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord the Lord is enthroned as King, King forever. Hallelujah. A reading from the letter to the Romans. It is on your lips, it is in your heart, meaning by that the message of faith which we preach. You can find salvation if you will use your lips to confess that Jesus is the Lord and your heart to believe that God has raised him up from the dead. The heart is only to believe if we are to be justified. The lips have only to make confession if we are to be saved. The Lord has risen from the dead, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord has risen from the dead, alleluia, alleluia. For our sake he died on the cross. The Lord has risen from the dead, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord has risen from the dead. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Anyone who loves me will we be loved, loved by, by my Father, Father and, and I shall love him and show myself, and show myself to him. To him. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who are his prophets from of old. A Saviour would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, for his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He sought Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, who might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. 
As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation, through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Anyone who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I shall love him and show myself to him. Hallelujah. The Father has glorified Jesus and handed over to him the whole of creation. Let us praise him in our morning prayer. Lord, save us, tree of victory. Lord Jesus, you have broken the power of hell, destroying sin and death. Do not let us be defeated in our struggle with temptation. Lord, save us, tree of victory. You have ended death forever and given us a new life. Guide our steps today along the path that leads to God. Lord, save us through your victory. You rose from the dead to renew all mankind. Grant eternal life to everyone we meet. Lord, save us through your victory. The despite rejoice when we came back from the grave. Fill the hearts of your servants with overflowing joy. Lord, save us through your victory. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, by your grace, we are made one in mind and heart. Give us a love for what you command and a longing for what you promise, so that amid the world's changes, our hearts may be set on the world of lasting joy. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safely today and all the days of our lives. Amen. Amen. Let us say the prayer for priests. Eternal, Eternal Father, we thank, we thank you for every priest who has faithfully given his life for the salvation, salvation of his brothers and sisters. We give, we give thanks, thanks to those priests who have brought, brought us your word of truth, the grace, of, grace of the sacraments, and above all, above all the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who called the apostles to follow him, we ask, we ask you to raise up new and generous occasions to the priesthood in our time. Send forth the Holy, forth the Holy Spirit to open, to open the hearts of the new generation to your call and, and enable, enable them not to be afraid, afraid but to, but to recognize the joy of giving their own lives, lives and love through Jesus, through Jesus Christ, Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everybody. We celebrate the feast of St. Catherine of Siena 
we will recite the Gloria. The intention is for Tommy Donnelly. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory lord god heavenly king O oh god almighty father lord jesus christ only begotten son lord god lamb of god son of the father you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God who sat St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love, in her contemplation of the Lord's Passion and her service of your church, grant through her intercession that your people, participating in the mystery of Christ, may ever exalt in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. from the first letter of St. John. This is what we have heard from Jesus Christ and the message that we are announcing to you. God is light. There is no darkness in him at all. If we say that we are in union with God while we are living in darkness, we are lying because we are not living the truth. But if we live our lives in the light, as he is in the light, we are in union with one another, and of the blood of Jesus, his Son, purifies us from all sin. If we say we have no sin in us, we are deceiving ourselves and refusing to admit the truth. But if we acknowledge our sins, then God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and purify us from everything that is wrong. To say that we have never sinned is to call God a liar and to show that his word is not in us. I am writing this, my children, to stop you sinning. But if anyone should sin, we have our advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, who is just. He is a sacrifice that takes away our sins away and not only ours, but the whole world's. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul give thanks to the Lord. My soul, My soul give, give thanks, thanks to, to the Lord. Lord. My soul give thanks to the Lord. All my being bless his holy name. My soul give thanks to the Lord and never forget all his blessings. My soul, My soul give, give thanks, thanks to, to the Lord. Lord. It is he who forgives your sins, who heals every one of your ills, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with love and compassion. My, My soul, soul gives give thanks, thanks to the Lord. Lord. The Lord is compassion and love, slow to anger and rich in mercy. His wrath will never come to an end, 
and he will not be angry forever. My, My soul, soul gives give thanks, thanks to, to the, the Lord. Lord. As a father has compassion on his sons, the Lord has pity on those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are dust. My, My soul, soul gives give thanks, thanks to the Lord. Lord. But the love of the Lord is everlasting upon those who hold him in fear. His justice reaches out to the children's children when they keep his covenant in truth. My, My soul, soul gives, gives thanks, thanks to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries of the kingdom to mere children. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, just as no one knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy, and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus praised the Father and rejoiced because the gift of revelation into the mystery of God was given not to the learned and the wise, but to the poor and uneducated, those whom the Lord called little children. Today we celebrate the feast day of just one such little child, St. Catherine of Siena. St. Catherine was born in Siena in 1347. She was the youngest in a family of 23. A precious and socially talented child, strong-willed, determined, and clearly anointed by the Holy Spirit in a unique and special way. Catherine resisted all attempts to marry her off. Instead, she joined the Dominican Third Order and by way of compromise, living at home. She dedicated her life to Christ and became famous worldwide for her wisdom, insight into the mystery of Christ, and ability to lead and guide even popes and kings. She left the church so many gifts, her witness to life, her holiness, her sanctity, her wisdom, and her dialogues the fruit of her vision in which God spoke to her personally and directly. We sit at the feet of this truly wonderful little child of God who lived only for 33 years. Let us pray, Lord Jesus, you know how fickle we can be in preferring shadows to substance. Let the light of your gospel fill our lives, that people who are searching for meaning and fulfillment may find us true witnesses of your love and so come to you. Lord, hear us. We ask our lady to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and the hour of our death. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, true Christ our Lord. <coughs> The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gift you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son and the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son and the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending thy spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be cursed to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourishes the life of Saint, it nourished the life of Saint Catherine through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the mass is ended.